And so can you use 5G mobile networks to get broadband where it needs to be, or does it have to be fixed uh, fiber to home? And, and if the 5G does work, we're at a point where we felt like we we're falling behind or could fall behind. I don't think we are, but we certainly could fall behind uh, China and other areas in 5G, and we need to focus on it. And we're spending a lot of money. We're spending a lot of money getting, but it's not a lack of the American people, taxpayers, putting resources to broadband. If you just look at the last few plans that have been passed. So the question, I'll start with Dr. Ford, but anybody else wants to add in, would 5G and, and really investing in 5G and making mobile networks a better way to go than fix fiber to home? Or at least an equal way to go? I, I worry a little bit that 10 years from now, we're going to be kicking ourselves for deploying all this fiber when half the people use mobile networks exclusively. I think mobility is a is a superior product in the sense that it's mobile. It may not be superior in its capacity at the moment, but 5G offers the opportunity for... I have about 30 seconds, Dr. Porter. If, if one of the other witnesses wants to add in, if not, I'll go back. Yeah, Mr. Lewis, I know I'll get the gavel in 20 seconds, so... Congress, it's important to remember that 5G and fiber... Uh, are, it's not a choice between one or the other. You can't have quality mobile networks, including 5G, without quality infrastructure for those 5G towers to connect to. Oh, absolutely. And and right now they have to connect almost every couple miles or or, or mile and a half is the best. We're talking fiber to home, though. That's the difference. Of right. fiber Gentleman's to home time has expired.